at some point uh, they merged uh, VTT Biotech with food, like two different research areas. And my group, Protein Production, was tasked to produce egg and milk protein with microbes. And actually the milk protein sort of took off first for whatever reason. The egg protein thing actually lagged behind and at some point they said, hey, look, you know, we can't do this anymore internally, but why don't we just make a, a spin-off to commercialize the egg protein projects, so the egg without chickens. So Onego Bio makes animal-free egg proteins using a filamentous fungus called Trichoderma rhesiae. And uh, it's used quite widely in the uh, enzyme industry already. We have studied at VTT Trichoderma rhesiae and developed the system for over 40 years, I mean since the 1980s. The biggest problem with it early on when I first came to VTT even was that there's a lot of these protease enzymes that it expresses um, naturally. It just does that because it wants to break down protein in the, in the environment to get food for itself. So it has a lot of these proteases. And that is not very amenable though, producing recombinant proteins because they will just degrade everything. So we had to reduce all these protease enzymes uh, for being produced. And that actually paved the way to being able to produce more generally proteins like milk proteins, egg proteins, other proteins. So one of the main tasks of, of the collaboration has been to enable Trichoderma Risi to produce high amounts of staple of albumin. Uh, which is um, around making better and better strains all the time, you know, testing new approaches, new technologies. Actually at VTT they have very nice medium throughput bioreactors, this amber system for instance. And you can do 48 cultures in a, in a week or two which is very important uh, to bring us the throughput that we need. And at the same time, you can go all the way up to 1,200 liters in their largest bioreactor. We were able to convince a bunch of investors to invest in Onego because we could do certain things really easily through BTT. So from that point of view, yeah, very valuable partner. What is inspiring is that we just did a large manufacturing run and we made real food items like cookies, cakes, muffins, thousands of them, just to show that the product can be scaled up. And then we sent them to different investors or different uh, customers or even some collaborators to try them and got great responses from that. So then you realize you actually succeed <laughs> at something. <laughs> is it actually the bottom line is, does somebody like your product?